you guys are balanced on a home goods candle, toilet paper, another candle, and Trader Joe's lotion. So it's like all stacked up. <laughs> There's my alarm. Yes, I have the NFL song, I guess that's what it's called, as my alarm. I don't know, I just feel like it pumps me up, wakes me up for the day. I'm not a morning person. I never claim to be a morning person. Today's video was going to be a morning routine, but I realized I am so not a morning person. So it was literally every frame was like me just like looking in the mirror like, I am so excited because I bought Tinks's classic modern puff from Amazon that she's obsessed with. And I just got it in the mail. I finally bought it because I trust literally anything Tinks tells me. It's like 7.30 in the morning right now and I have an appointment at Dry Bar for 8.15. And I'm gonna head over there in a minute before I go to work. For those of you guys who don't know, I actually go to Dry Bar once a week. I don't wash my hair anymore. Fun fact for you guys. Fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. It's incredible because not only does it save me time because they can do it so much faster than I do it myself. If I do it myself, it takes me like two to three hours to like blow it out, curl it, everything. Cause I don't know how to just do the little like round brush. Like, so why do I keep going? So I'm just in a silly goofy mood this morning. While they're blow drying my hair and styling and everything like that, I love answering emails and editing. Like it really is such a productive experience. I just got done getting my hair done and it looks so pretty. I always tell them to do a partial rough dry just because I feel like whenever they just go in straight with the round brush, it's like so much heat on your hair and my hair cannot handle that because it's damaged and colored and just all of the things. And then they do a round brush to just give it like that bouncy blowout. I don't really have them do curling irons or flat irons or anything like that. I just have them do it with the round brush just because I like the look a little bit better. I have a little bit of time to kill before work, thank God, because a bitch needed to eat. I'm trying to find my hand sanitizer. Anyway, like I was saying, I have... It's honestly so convenient whenever places have the car charging ports at like malls and targets and things like that. So I'm gonna let my car charge while I run into Target and grab a few things for work today. I'm doing a deal with Maybelline on one of my clients coming up. So I just came to Target to grab a few products. I'm obsessed with their Maybelline The Falsies Mascara. I'm gonna be using that on tanks. And then I'm also gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundations are a really great dupe for the NARS Natural Radiant. I'm gonna be using this foundation on her. I believe she's about the shade 228, so I'm gonna get a few different color options just so we can match her. Thank you. These are literally my favorite sports bras ever, so I'm grabbing a few because right now they're two for 45, you guys. Check these out of Victoria's Secret. I went into the mall for what was supposed to be like a five minute quick trip. I was literally just going in to get makeup for work and I came out in an entirely new outfit. I do this thing a lot where I'll think like, I feel like dressing cute to work today. And so like, I'll put on something. Also my definition of like dressing cute for work is like jeans and a tank top. But I put that on and I just, it's so hot outside today. And I just felt so uncomfortable. A lot of times I think that it's cute to wear like little tanks and stuff to work. I have massive boobs and it makes it really difficult sometimes to like wear tank tops or like I feel like it's too much cleavage and I'm just like very self-conscious. I don't know, I was walking around the mall sweating, miserable in my outfit and so I bought an entirely new outfit. We love that for myself. Okay, quick update guys. Today has been such a crazy day. I did a shoot with Tana all morning and she just posted what we were shooting for so I guess I can tell you. We were shooting for her sex toy. My parents would be so proud. We did the shoot. I had to leave during the shoot. I couldn't stay and I really wanted to stay because it was so good. You guys are gonna die whenever you see the photos. It's insane. I think this is honestly one of my favorite makeup looks that we've done on her too. The past few days, we've really been like playing with makeup and color and textures. We did like a really cool rhinestone look with like a super snatch, very Kylie inspo, but also like Lady Gaga a little bit. And then I rushed from the photo shoot to go glam Tinks, who is literally one of my favorite people on the planet, you guys. She's literally the nicest, coolest person. I've only glammed her maybe like five, six times, and she, like, I feel like she's my best friend. She's so cool. Every time I leave her house, I leave with 
so many goodies. She's just going to a few events tonight and we did a really fun look with Maybelline that I'm obsessed with. She's just so like glowy and bronzy and natural, but like still glam, which I'm really obsessed with. And I think it turned out really good. And then now I'm rushing from Tink's to go back to Tana's. This time we're going to her house, AKA David Dobrik's old house, which is like so wild that he's her landlord and I'm kind of obsessed with that. I feel so cool whenever I'm there. I'm like, yeah, I'm in David's house. Tiana's going to three events tonight, so we're gonna do like a little touch up, maybe a little look change, TBD, I'll let you guys know. I am sitting in crazy traffic. It says that I'm gonna be there in 17 minutes, but like the time just keeps adding and adding and adding. That's the thing about LA, it's so unpredictable and it's really hard for me to kind of like manage my time because so much of my job is going from client to client to client all over LA, different sides of town. And if you guys haven't been to LA, LA is very spread out. That's one thing that I don't think that I fully realized before I moved here. It's just like a shit show sometimes. You could be going to the same place every single day, but if you go within like two minutes of a difference, you could literally get there within 10 minutes or you could get there in like 45 minutes. There's no in between. Like Tana's house is literally three miles away from where I am. And as of now it says 18 minutes, so. Oh, and now it went back down to 17 and I still haven't moved. So it's very unpredictable and it's really hard for me to sometimes plan things out. I feel like I'm pretty good at managing my time. I've only been late to a few clients maybe ever. I definitely give myself more time and more leeway in between. Today's Thursday, but honestly it feels like Friday or Saturday and everyone's been saying that today too. I have the hiccups, you guys. That's so annoying. Baby Bay is so happy mommy's home. It's one in the morning and I just got home. My baby bae is drinking fresh water from the sink. I do my skincare. I literally barely even drank tonight. I think maybe I did like one shot with Tana and like one shot with Ari. Two shots throughout the whole night, like no mixed drinks or anything either. But for some reason, it is just so hard to do your skincare routine whenever you come from a night out. A bitch never sleeps in her makeup. I think I sleep in my makeup maybe once a year, probably my birthday. Also, fun fact that nobody asked for my birthday is also the one time a year that I throw up every single year from 21 to 23 so far. We'll see if this is still happening for 24. But I wanted to be a good like little makeup influencer and show you guys that I take off my makeup even after going out. I am so tired. I've been working all day. As you guys know, you've been with me all day. She's so perfect waiting for mommy to come to bed. You know, we're not looking the cutest we've ever looked right now, but it's okay. It's finally time for me to get in bed and baby bae found a bag. So she's going to be scratching at that. So I'm definitely going to have to get up and move that in a second. After I finished Tink's, as you guys know, I went back to Tana. We touched her up. We ended up keeping her makeup the same because we were literally so obsessed with it And honestly it held up really well throughout the day Sometimes with Tana she like touches her face and like she isn't very conscious of the makeup Which is fine because that's what I'm there for to touch her up But it honestly stayed really well today. So that was great So we just did like a quick little touch-up We did some body makeup because she was wearing like a cute little skirt and she had some bruises on her leg And then after we touched her up and then me. I don't know who we is. And then after I touched her up, me, Kyla, which is Tana's assistant, Tana, and Chris. We all went to drop off Chris and Tana at Paris Hilton's house, which fun fact for those of you guys who don't know, she was actually my second celebrity client I ever got. Literally, I was like 18 doing Paris's makeup and it was a dream. She's like the sweetest icon living legend ever. Tana was only allowed one plus one, so they went to the party. Me and Kyla sat in the car and ate raspberries by herself. It was honestly such a cute little moment we had. We picked them up and then we had a little quick change moment in the car for Tana. She changed outfits into this really cute denim moment. And then we went to Dixie D'Amelio's Psycho music video premiere and it was so cute. I'm like obsessed with the video. Dixie's killing it. Like she looks so good. And so we hung out at Dixie's party for a little bit and then from Dixie's we went to Nessa Barrett's birthday party slash single release party. And Nessa's single is so good. I hope you're miserable until you're dead. Literally it will be on repeat for days. And then they all stayed at the album party and I'm the only one who Ubered back to the house, got my stuff, loaded up, and then came back home just because I have to work really early tomorrow morning. I have to wake up at like seven, I believe, and then head down to Santa Barbara for a client. I might be doing Tana again tomorrow night for a dinner that she's going to. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see, we'll play it by ear. But, but yeah, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I pretty much do daily vlogs on my TikTok as well 
well if you guys want to check that out it's just at alexis oakley with two eyes and then obviously as you guys know be sure to follow me on instagram as well which is just alexis oakley like subscribe all the things you guys know what to do i love you thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next week